You know, I just love a bob. I wore my hair in a bob for many, many years, and this one uh, is almost exactly how I wore my hair. I reviewed her in April of 2018, and I'll tell you about that just ahead. So back in 2018, I was so new to reviewing wigs. I knew absolutely nothing about measuring for my head size. Um, I, as you can see, the camera is just terrible. I think I used my old iPhone, um, plopped her on my head, and just started talking about her. I did like the wig, but she was just uncomfortably tight. And that, combined with the color, I wasn't crazy about. So back she went. But now, after having a little bit more experience, I've decided to give her another try, get her in another color. She was on sale, so I picked her up and uh, decided just to see what I thought this time. Petite Page by Envy is a classic, sweet bob that is suitable pretty much for, I would say, any age. Never goes out of style. Hand-tied strands. Really, she has such a natural appearance. You can see she's very swingy. I'm going to go outside in a little bit. Do a spin for you out there. And she's very comfortable. I'm, I'm not sure if I got one many years ago that was just tighter than usual. Maybe I didn't put her on properly. But this one feels pretty good. I'm sorry about my voice. I just, I don't know what's going on with me today. <laughs> Little raspy. I do love how she feels. I love how she swings. I love how she looks. I like how the light is bouncing off of her fibers. She's very, very light on your head. <clears throat> Excuse me. A page boy. I haven't heard that name in a long time. A page boy, pretty much anyone could wear a page boy. She never goes out of style and easy to wear. No lace front. I'll show you the cap in a little while, but just a very sweet, sweet little style. As I've said, that just never goes out of fashion. So before I go any further, I wanted you to see, remember I told you that um, I sent Petite Page back for two reasons. She was quite snug on my head and I wasn't crazy about the color. Well, here is another wig from Envy, and this one is in the color light gray. Now, if I hold them up together, you can see that the light gray, she's not really gray. She, When you look at her, she's more of a white gray than a gray gray, and she's okay, but she doesn't really have a lot of dimension. And, and as I move forward in time, learning about wigs and buying wigs and all of that, I'm finding that I'm gravitating more away from the pure white because there's just not a lot of dimension. And so, yes, I could put some dimension in there with a hair foot filler, you know, at the, at the root. Or, But lately, I've just felt like I'm probably going to gravitate more toward the medium gray or uh, the things like Shakerado that have more depth and more dimension to them. But there she is. If you purchase if you purchase this one in the light gray, this is exactly how she would look. Same company, and but just a different color, a lighter color. The bang or this the uh, fringe here is four inches. The crown down is eleven inches. Her sides are six and a half inches. She's very light on the head. She weighs. 3.74 ounces. That's all she weighs. Permatease on the top and the crown. I don't feel any permatease in there. The specs don't show permatease. Her density is very light. And right out of the box, she had a, um, she had a pretty you know, that zigzaggy part, I had to kind of rough that up. I just took my hands and reparted her, and that pretty much took care of the zigzaggy look.
So I think I mentioned to you that this wig uh, is quite affordable. She is, I think I paid $97 for her, and I will be adding her to my new series, which was suggested by one of my subscribers, Financially Accessible Wigs. This one qualifies for Financially Accessible Wigs, um, especially over there at Wig Studio One. when you check out automatically they will apply a 30 percent discount to anything that you purchase over there now the other thing that i want to mention and this is very very important because as i said this is the second time that i have purchased this wig i was so new that i didn't know what i was doing and i did not measure so measure 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 and then measure again when you purchase a wig. Take your measurements. I will put a link to this um, to this video down below and highly recommend that uh, everybody, it's not a long um, it's not a long video at all but it's just got some just got some wonderful wonderful information about how to measure. I can't tell you how many wigs I've sent back because they were too small. None of them have been too big, but many of them were just uncomfortably tight and I couldn't keep them. So if you're new to wigs, this is a good thing to do. Measure, measure, and then measure again. This is the most important measurement right here. This ear to ear measurement right there. I will say one thing. I wish she came in an average cap. I don't think that she does, but I probably should look that up for us to see if she does because I probably would be more comfortable. However, having said that, perhaps after I have her for a little while, maybe I could stretch her a little bit. They do stretch out a little bit and then she would be perfect. By the way, I read someplace that when you lose weight, you lose weight in your head. Did you know that? <laughs> so here is the unboxing of Petite Page by Envy. She comes in a sweet box like this. And always take a look and see how they package her so that when you store her, you know how to put her away for safekeeping. So she has a whole bunch of netting on her to keep the hair in place. The tissue paper and of course there's a thank you note and some instructions how to care for your wig and then inside you're going to notice there's a piece of cardboard and that will help her keep her shape when you're storing her we'll take off the netting and then I'm going to put her on my head and by the way, what I have on my head right now is the Tony Bratton fall, straight fall that I spoke about, I think in my last video. And I do have my hair all pulled back because I'm getting ready to put Petite Page on, but normally you'd see a whole bunch of hair underneath the fall. So if you want to know more about this particular piece, you can look at the video that I think was just before this one. Petite page, medium gray. I'll be right back. Let's have a look at the inside of Petite Page's cap. First, before I talk about the inside, I want to say a little bit more about this color. If you look very closely, you can see all the dimension 
of all the hairs. We've got black, we've got silver, we've got white. Just a lot of color going on here. Imagine what this would cost you at the salon. Just beautiful. Okay, now let's look at the inside of the cap. First of all, I, I did detect a tiny bit of permatease, and I mean a teeny tiny bit. If you don't like permatease, don't let this bother you. By the way, I'm sorry about the noise of the air conditioning. I'm outside, it's 96 degrees. I turned off my AC, but it, that's my neighbor's AC. <laughs> it's so loud. Okay, so we have open wefted cap. Very cool on the head. This wig weighs less than four ounces. I think she's 3.4 ounces. And this is where I'm detecting just a tiny, tiny bit right here. A little tiny pillowy, tiny, not even a quarter of an inch, I suppose just for a little bit of lift. Now here is your monofilament right there. It's a side part, which is just left of center. So you, if you wanted to bring it almost to the center, you could you could but it's a it's this is going to save you money because if this was a full mono top she would be a lot more expensive this small parting right here this mono is mono small mono part is keeping the price point down and then notice the banding here at the edge of that banding right there are these teeny tiny little hairs so when your hair flips back and the wind blows or whatever you're not going to see that. You're going to see that. Very smart. Then we have the covered ear tabs, but they're not covered in felt, but they are covered. And then we have just a small stay right there, and it lays nice and flat to the head. We have the bra strap type extenders. I think that just about it is. The uh, nape is not an extended nape which actually I kind of appreciate because it's a little bit cooler on the nape of my neck. One other thing, it is a stretchy cap. This cap is going to stretch. So if you're like me and you're more average to large, this is going to have some give to it. So I don't know whether that was something that happened after I purchased it. It might have been there when I purchased it the first time. I don't know. But that first one that I purchased in 2018 really felt tight on me. I hope that helps. Great to have you with me today for a second look at Petite Page by Envy in the color medium gray. If you like, give it a like, hit that little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And remember, always look for the silver linings. They are everywhere. Thanks so much for watching.